and welcome to my channel and today we're going to be watching a animated film that I surprisingly haven't seen from the early 2000s, The Road to El Dorado. This was the movie that won the recent poll over on my Patreon, so if you'd like to support my channel, go check that out, where you'll get access to polls, early access, full length, and exclusive content. So check it out if you're interested. Now, Road to El Dorado, um, I don't really know much about other than the, the I... The, they're guys trying to find the city of El Dorado, which is a city of gold from myth, if I remember correctly. Well, let's just go ahead and get into it. This is Road to El Dorado. Oh, sorry. The Road to El Dorado. There's only one. Actually, I said that as a joke, but that actually makes sense. Whatever. Here's the movie. Was built by the divinities, by God, the gift of a Wait, El Dorado is like a peaceful city, and not one made of gold? Uh. Okay, <laughs> there it is. Is this a musical? Are there musical songs? I mean, I know Disney was doing them at this time, but I, I don't know if DreamWorks was. I don't think they were. Today, we sail to conquer the new world for Spain. Ha, <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, buddy. One more roll! Yeah. Uh, guys... You're broke! You got nothing to bet with! Oh yeah? I got this. Oh, the map to El Dorado. Map of the wonders of the new world. Oh. Not with the face. No, 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 I said one more roll. What, that? what the hell was that face? He like was patting like a, panting like a dog. Is that like some bedroom play they have? <laughs> oh. Oh, he just wanted a little blow. That's called foreshadowing. Oh! Wow, they actually won legitimately. Your dice are loaded! What? You gave me loaded dice? <laughs> he gave me loaded dice! <laughs> no honor among thieves. Arrest him! You dare to impugn my honor? He was the one who was cheating. Arrest him! Oh, this is probably just an act to get them out of it. On guard yourself, I will give you the honor of a quick and painless death. Oh, Hey, it's not the size that counts. Allegedly. Not the face, not the face! And now they make their escape after a little show and everyone's forgotten. Thank you all for coming. You've been great. See you soon. Adios. They are some damn good con men. Bye. Thank you. These guys are good. I like them. Okay, Miguel, we gotta move fast. <laughs> we jump hey guys, it's like a go <laughs> it's like a uh, glory holes. You will be flogged. And when we put into Cuba to resupply, God willing, you will be flogged some more. And then enslaved on the sugar plantations for the rest of your miserable lives. All right. Cuba. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he's an optimist, at least. All we have to do is find a pry bar. A long piece of iron with a hooky thing at the end. Yeah? Miguel. Horse. <laughs> yeah, but it's an animated horse. It understands him. Like the horse from Tangled. Dude, you're literally eating his ass right now, so I don't want to hear any criticism from you. Oh, he got you the keys instead. Oh. Oh. Poor Altivo. Oh, hang on! That's right here, old boy! Hurry up, your guy! Help is coming! How are you gonna get a horse on that, though? Holy shit! <laughs> Censoring bad words for children. Oh! <laughs> Tony! Hey, it worked! Hey, you got the apple at least, though. Exactly. Oh, holy shit, that's a lot of sharks. Uh, no, I don't like open water. 
because of that fact. Sharks. <laughs> Does it have a butthole? Oh. <laughs> well, if it's any consolation, Miguel, you made my life an adventure. <laughs> and if it's any consolation, Tulio, you made my life. Rich. <laughs> the horse is fed up. Uh, I like them. Don't stick your hands in the water. There's sharks in there. Okay, there's sharks in the sand then. Hello! Tulia! We've done it! What's that? The map? It's all. How do they still have that? You honestly. still have the map? I'm surprised they didn't take the map from him when they got, you know, caught. Out the new world, you oh, there is another song. I guess it is a musical. Even tripping, ah! and then some pioneers of maximum audacity. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is surprisingly funny. Paradise is close. Whoa, holy, they're showing booties. Huh, there's a lot of booty. El Dorado well, 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 is I native. Or great big rock, 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 get really, you know, on the horse. You don't need to be that mad. I mean, you had nothing really to lose. Oh. Ooh. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hidden behind the waterfall, behind the big rock. It's, it's El Dorado. The horse even said it. What the hell? <laughs> even the butterflies are gold. Somebody went a little too crazy with the Midas touch. Is he trying to breastfeed that baby? Oh, they're going to think it's like um, a prophecy or something. I just want you to know, I'm sorry about that girl in Barcelona. So you, you behold. What happened with the girl in Barcelona? I guess he was into her and Miguel ended up, you know, f***ing her. I am Zekelcon, your devoted high priest and speaker for the gods. Hey, I am Chief Tanabak. My only wish is to serve the gods. Visit your wrath upon this non-believer. Show us the truth of your divinity. Oh, it's like a separation of church and state, maybe. <laughs> Stop! Well, that's convenient. Or maybe they are magical. Step aside. Okay, so the chief really doesn't seem happy about this, so it must mean something really bad that they're here, actually. I propose a reverent ceremony at dawn. Ah, uh, then perhaps I could prepare a glorious feast for you tonight. Which would you prefer? Why not both? Both. Both. Both, both is good. Yeah. <laughs> it's an entire city of suckers. <laughs> Uh-oh. How did she get here? Beware the wrath of the gods. Be gone. Save it for the high priest, honey. You're gonna need it. Attitude. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry about me, boys. My only wish is to serve the gods. Remember? I'll, I'd like her serving me. <laughs> She's f***ing hot. I want it. In? On the scale. Why? <laughs> so I can get out. I thought she just said she wanted in. She wants in so she can get out. Mm, no, I've already made too many sexual jokes about her already. So when you guys are ready to go back to wherever you came from, 
I'm going with you. <laughs> no. Why not, dude? I mean, Dad, look at her. Deal? Mm. Deal. Not yet. Let's just see how this works out. Yeah, he's like, hey, you're not, you're not getting your hands on this one first. Do you mind? No. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right. Uh, excuse me. Ow. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> She's thirsting for it a little bit too. This movie's too horny. <laughs> Remember the little boys? Just just for a second, imagine that you have one. What would it be saying about Chell? <laughs> no. Mm. Sorry, I don't think I can drop it. They knew what they were doing when they drew her. Chell is off limits? Hmm? Bravo! Chell is off limits. It's only because it's a kid's movie. Okay, thank God. After the whole aerial debacle, I had to look it up. She's 20. She's 20. I just don't cut it with the cherry beans. So what are you talking about? That baby should be executed. It bit a god. Golden apples. Uh, that's like the second thing I've watched this week that will have a golden apple in it. The other was Invincible. Oh, the horse is drunk. Drunk horse. You won't see that in a Disney movie. The gods deserve a proper tribute. They're... Hmm. Come on. Oh, what the hell? Sacrifice. Oh, yeah. Execution. May the people of El Dorado offer you our tribute. Okay, yeah, now you're talking. So he's more of a, the, the shaman guy is more of like a cult, I guess, religious cult type thing. And they're at like odds at how they're going to advance their religion, I guess. To Shibalba! Oh, great. Oh. Oh, no. They wish to bask. Take the tribute to the God's temple. Okay. <laughs> Smile while you can. You know, I, I think, I think that's going to be a villain. Well, I mean, also, this guy could also probably might maybe be a villain. To build a boat large and glorious enough would take about a week. A week? Um, hmm. Uh, I wonder how long it would take Sekul Khan to do it. B but for the gods, uh, three days. I would have taken the week. Problem. Miguel, how are we going to keep this up for three days? Oh. Oh. I guess that makes sense. The longer you stay here, the longer it's possible that it will get found out. Good. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to <laughs> gloat over my gold. She's into him. You know, you really shouldn't miss it. I know, but I, I couldn't. Go ahead. I'll cover for you. Oh, good. Thanks. Oh, at first I was thinking, like, oh, maybe she'll pent put them together or against each other, but. She wants to be alone with him. Is she into him or is this a con? I can't afford any temptation. Uh, distractions. So I'm sorry. So sorry. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. Too bad. I'm free now. <laughs> oh god i'm gonna assume it cut to a close-up of his face because she reached back into his pants <laughs> they just can't show that because mm. hey where is everybody but they've been cleared from the streets my lord so the city can be cleansed as you ordered what are you doing stop that what my lord anyone who disobeys your orders must be punished as you ordered. Seems I've been giving a lot of orders, haven't I? Ah, uh, the, the priest. No. 
He's gonna fall in love with this place and not want to leave it, right? Whoa! My lord. Oh. What's he gonna think if he finds one of the gods like this with me? Uh, oh like my. Gods? Okay. All right. They were. Okay. Yep. They were. F <laughs> wow. She even like unmounted him. They are as untrustworthy as rats, stealing and cheating with no remorse, <laughs> spinning webs of lies like spiders. Okay, so he has magic powers. The gods should not be playing ball like this. Well, exactly. This is how the gods should play ball. Gotta knock the ball through the hoop. What hoop? That hoop. <laughs> Oh, the armadillo. Also, go back and do that hit thing again, Shell. I was thinking maybe they'll they'll switch the ball like loaded dice, you know, with the armadillo. We need a miracle. No, we need to cheat. <laughs> ah, the power of gods. Uh oh. Oh, poor little thing. He's got so many black eyes. Uh oh. <laughs> Altivo, MVP, and the armadillo. He hasn't been named. I'm going to call him Dill. Well, as speaker for the gods, it would be my privilege to point them. The gods are speaking for themselves now. This city and these people have no need for you anymore. Ooh. <laughs> he has mastic, mystic powers. Blood. As the gods. Hunan. About the blood? Do you know why the gods demand blood? <laughs> because gods don't bleed. Ah, okay. Also, you don't seem to have many support. You got this one dude. But, I mean, you have magic powers, I guess. Well, it's, um, uh, nice. Really? Yes, nice. But? Um, but, uh, is it really fit for the gods? Oh, he's trying to delay because he wants to stay. Big plans in the other world, huh? Yep. Big plans. See, that wasn't actually a lie because, yeah, the other world, this is the new world. Other world is, yeah, you know, Europe. To air is human. So the chief, like, knows, right? He probably knows. Oh, like you don't want to go to Spain. Oh, like you don't want me to want to go to Spain. I want you to want... Mm hmm ...what you want. Mm-hmm. Go on. So, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Deal. <laughs> oh, they're banging. Altivo saw. <laughs> He's watching them bang. They're not just kissing anymore. It needs more. Okay, yeah, so I'm pretty sure now he's a villain. He just killed a guy. Do as I command. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, I am very curious how they're actually going to beat this guy that has magic with this giant cat statue thing that... I'm okay! I'm still okay! Oh. <laughs> oh, God. I was waiting to, like, say is actually killing people, and he's still okay somehow. Kids movie. They can imply a lot of sexual things, but no actual deaths by squishing. Being pushed into a, a, a green liquid is fine, though. No, save her! 
Save her. Save her. You have to save the thighs. I mean, save her life. You are not gods. You're not a god? <laughs> you lied to me? Oh, they're doing this. Like in the beginning. How dare you? Hey, it was his stupid plan. But Miguel's not going to be into it because he's upset that Tulio was banging Shell. You're buying your own con. At least I'm not dating mine. Dating. Fine with me, pal. Fine with Ooh. me, too. Fine. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> All right. right. Oh, okay. I was actually starting to believe that they were for real, you know, fighting, but they, they conned me. Wow. And I'm incredibly smart. Oh. Of course, that's how they beat him. Make him fall naturally. That's how you defeat villains in animated movies in the 90s and early 2000s. But not dead. Okay. So not how he's permanently defeated anyway. Where did you get this? I've decided to stay. Oh, this is wonderful news. What a glorious day for El Dorado. Lord Miguel has decided to live among us. Friends never say goodbye. Oh, just kiss and make up. Maybe you can Eiffel Tower chill. If she's okay with it. Of course. Ooh. Maybe she would be into it. That was on the mouth. It's worth asking. Prepare yourselves for battle! <laughs> Chief, you cannot fight them! Then how can we stop them? We can't. I mean, there's only one way into El Dorado, right? Ambush. Yeah. Here's the gate. Okay. Here's the boat. Got that and well, here's the goat, and here's the bait. <laughs> That's it. We'll crash the boat into the pillars. Good job, Dill. I will say that CGI gold looks very real. <laughs> Ooh, big man, big chief. Strong boy. Get off the boat, Miguel, or you'll never see the city again. I know. You don't think I'm gonna let you have all the fun, do you? They're gonna double team Chell. Put some of it in your pockets real quick. Man, <gasps> seize him. Use your magic powers. Oh, they got the golden hooves on Altivo, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Altivo, come on. I'm fine. Good. Let's go. All right, you have to choose a ship full of gold or a really hot chick. I, I mean, just go steal one of the Cortez's ships. Oh. Well, I guess they are in a new world. They don't really, eh, whatever. They don't need to go back to Spain. Wow, that was that was really it. Dill, you ate a butterfly, silly. Mm, little anticlimactic ending. Have you ever seen a movie as an adult and wish you saw it as a kid because you probably would have loved it? Probably would have been your favorite movie. I feel like that would have been this for me because I had so much fun with this, especially early on when it was just them, like seeing like their bond and like how they interacted with each other with Altivo was really great. And, you know, of course... I liked Shell. And oh man, I if ooh, if I had seen this movie as a kid, I I yep, I mean with her oof, ah, ooh. <laughs> Tulio was a lucky bastard. Anyway, like I said, I kind of feel like the ending was a bit anticlimactic. I mean, you know, you don't need to have a big battle. Probably wouldn't have worked out, you know. They actually have armor and guns and stuff, so would have been a bit one sided. Also, I guess his the the villain guy's magic just it doesn't exist outside of El Dorado, or he lost it all when he was defeated or something. I don't know. But he was taken away by Cortez, probably to be flogged, and then flogged again. 
Yeah. Whatever. It's honestly surprising. I thought it would have had, had like a moment where they they had to come clean to everyone. Like, hey, we're not really gods. But no, they kept they kept the act up. I said like maybe the chief knows that they're not really gods, but it never really went into it. I guess it's just up for interpretation. Although if I did have to critique something, the music really wasn't all that catchy. I like the um, To Be A God song they sung. It's the only one that they actually sung. Like their characters were actually singing anyway. I liked that one. The other ones were more montage songs and those were fine. It's just, you know, I'm thinking here, I'm like, I can't remember a single lyric from them except for the To Be A God song, which is probably why I like it so much. But I mean, man, I didn't expect it to be a musical, so I'm not going to rate this on the music. I enjoyed the adventure part. I enjoyed the joke part. I enjoyed the animation. I enjoyed the style. And I definitely enjoyed the character design of Shell. So 10 out of 10, thick thighs do save lives. Well, that was the road to El Dorado. What did you guys think of it? Let me know down in the comments. Is Shell the, one of the hottest 2D animated girls you've ever seen? She might be up there with Jessica Rabbit for me, honestly. Maybe. The proportions definitely are close. <laughs> Debate down in the comments. Which one? Who's hottest? Who's Who was your first 2D crush? Was it her? Let me know. Now, um, <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, I really need to... Uh, uh, check out some things on um, Rule 34. So that's it.